Hello everyone, if you are dealing with a large data set, then you know how hectic it can be to write down the same data in every workbook. But you can easily do that by selecting and just pressing the enter. So that's how it can be done in one second. So this is Jihad Rianjim from Excel Demi and today we'll learn several methods on how to link data in Excel from one sheet to another. In our first case, we want to use the equal sign to link data in one Excel sheet to another. At first, we have two workbooks which is equal one worksheet and then equal two worksheet. In the equal one worksheet, we have product quantity cost per product in column B, C and D. In equal to worksheet, we have again product selling price and cost per unit in column B, C and D. If you have looked carefully, then you have seen cost per unit is common in both worksheets. Now we want to link this column to another worksheet. To do that, at first we have to go to our equal to workbook, then we have to insert the equal sign and now go to the equal one worksheet and select the data range you want to insert. Now, if you hit the enter button, then you will see your data have been linked to your new worksheet. So that's how you can use equal sign to link data from one worksheet to another worksheet. In our new case, we want to use plus sign to link data from one sheet to another. Now, in this case, we have again two worksheets, plus one and plus two. So at first, we have to go to our new worksheet where we want to link the data. At first, you have plus sign and now you have to select the data range. So we'll go to our first worksheet and then select the data range. And after that, we'll press the enter button. Now you'll see your data have been linked to your new worksheet. In our new case, we want to use paste link option to link data from one sheet to another. To do that, at first we have two worksheets again, paste link 1 and paste link 2. So at first we have to select the data range we want to copy. So we're gonna press Ctrl plus C and after that we will go to our new worksheet which is paste link 2. Now we have to go to the cell where we want to insert our link data, then we have to press Ctrl plus V, then you will see your data have been inserted as you wish. In our new case, we want to use the sum function to get our work done. So we have again two worksheets, sum1 and sum2. Now in the sum2, we have to get the total cost and to get the total cost, we are gonna use that sum function. At first, we will insert the equal sign and write down the sum function then in the number one cell we have to select the data link we want to use so we will go to our sum one worksheet and select the data range and now press the enter button then you will see the function will give us the total cost as our wish In our new case, we want to link the data like previous methods but now with a proper condition. To do that, we have again condition 1 and condition 2 worksheets and now we have to go to our condition 2 new worksheet and then enter our condition. So we'll use if function in this case. So we have to select the if function. Then in the logical test, we have to go to our cell which is in the worksheet 1 D5 cell. Now, we have to enter the condition which is we want to get the results if the value is above 10. So we'll write down the getter than sign and write down 10. Then we have to insert a comma then value if true. That means what you want to show if the value is fulfilled. So as we are trying to get the result from the D5 cell, so we'll select D5 and now insert the comma then value if false. As we are trying to get a blank cell. So we'll write down nothing in our double quotation. 
now if you press the enter button then you will see as the first cell has fulfilled the condition so it has given the result now if you copy down the formula to every cell then you will see where the conditions have been fulfilled it has given us the result but where the condition have not been fulfilled then it has given us the blank cell so that's how you can easily link the data on basis of your condition now we want to learn how to transfer data by using VBA code to do that again we have two worksheets VBA1 and VBA2 now at first we have to go to the developer option and now select the visual basic then you will see visual basic for application section will get opened and in this section you will select the insert option and press on the module section then a new VBA basic operator will get opened and in this section you have to insert your code as I have already my code written in our notepad so I will copy it down and paste it to my visual basic editor now in this case if you look it down then you will see there is source sheet from where we want to get our data in this case which is VBA1 worksheet now we have target sheet which is VBA2 where we want to place our data and then we have data range user can easily change the name of the worksheet according to their wish so if we press the run option and run that then you will see your data have been transferred from VBA1 to VBA2 so that's how it is done in our new case we want to link master sheet to a normal sheet to do that at first we have a master sheet where we have details of the product now in our master one sheet we have only the summary so we want to link both of them to each other to do that at first we have to go in master one sheet and go to the cell we want to get our link so after that we'll go to the insert option and now click on the link option now in the link option you have to select the cell where you want to get your link so at first you have to select master cell 2 and then you have to also insert the cell number you want to get as i'm trying to get the result for b5 cell so i'll write down the b5 and press ok then you will see your data have been linked now if you copy down the formula then you will see your every link have been done so if you press on it then you will see it will take you down to your master sheet one so that's how it is done that's it for today you can use any of these methods according to your wish hope this will help you if you have any questions suggestions or feedbacks please let us know in the comment section or you can have a glance at excelademy.com thank you for watching if you like this video please consider subscribing us for more content like this